Hello everyone, since the beginning of their domestication, dogs have been a part of the human world. Because of their instinctive guarding ability, they are used to protect livestock and even as police dogs, or even as house pets performing tricks. From time to time, there have been reported instances of dogs attacking owners or other people. Although extreme cases are rare, it is still important that we are aware of the dangers and responsibilities of having dogs. The following is our list of the 8 most dangerous dog breeds in the world. So let's start the video. Number 1, Alibi. Alibi rightly called the most fearless and courageous dog in the world. Such qualities as courage and strength have been entrenched in the breed for centuries, and you can be sure that in the event of a threat, the alibi coldly and with striking accuracy, will rush to the attack. Thanks to the quick reaction, sharp mind, and power, the Central Asian Shepherd dogs have proven to be the best guards and watchmen. However, it is recommended to start them only for experienced dog breeders. Alibi needs persistent and patient training. And if a puppy or teenager easily assimilates information and is perfectly amenable to education and training, then it is almost impossible to correct the behavior of an adult alibi. Interestingly, other dogs are natural enemies for alibi in the first place. For centuries, the ancestors of the Central Asian Shepherd dogs protected herds from predators, in particular, from wolves, which was fixed in their gene pool. Be sure, not one alibi will miss a foreign dog on his territory. The future owner of the Central Asian Shepherd should take into account this quality of character, because, for stray dogs, alibi is indeed a serious danger. Number 2, Kangel. A Kangel dog has a much stronger bite force at 743 psi, so it's safe to say that it could take on a pit bull. Unfortunately though, if these two dog breeds were to meet, it might be under most desperate circumstances. Both breeds are widely used for the appalling and inhumane practice of dog fighting. In the US, the Pitbull is the popular dog of choice for fighting, and in Turkey it's the Kangel. A lucrative blood sport, the use of Kangel dogs is becoming more prevalent, resulting in dire consequences. Since the Kangel is naturally a defensive dog, crossbreeding is done on purpose to disrupt temperament and increase aggression. Steroids and drugs are also introduced to inflame behavior. This has muddled the preservation of a pure bloodline, as well as tarnished the Kangel's iconic image as the country's national treasure. Number 3, Sarplananak Dog. The Sarplananak is a large, strongly built dog. The body is slightly longer than the height of the withers, and the front legs account for approximately 55% of the height. The head is large but proportional to the body, with dark eyes. All Sarplananak are solid in color. Fawn, iron gray, white or almost black, usually sable or gray with darker overalls on the head and back, the undercoat being paler. The color need not be completely uniform, and most Sarplananak has several different shades of the same color fading into one another. There are no bicolors and no uniformly black coated dogs among purebreds, but odd colored specimens do exist. The dogs must not have large white patches in their coat. Number 4, Rottweilers. Rottweilers are considered to be one of the fiercest dog breeds. This dog breed became popularly known as killer dogs because they have been involved in numerous human attacks. The media introduced this dog breed to be one of the first ones to avoid. One reason why the Rottweiler is known to be a violent dog is because of its history. This dog used to guard the cattle for the Roman soldiers, and they accompanied the army. These dogs were prized since cattle happened to be the main source of nutrition for the army. This is also the dog breed that is used to bring the cattle to the market. Before I move on, I have something special for you and your dog. If your dog is jumping, peeing inappropriately, aggressive, pulling on the leash or whatever, then you need to buy this dog brain training product. The brain training for dogs members area is jam-packed with information owners can use to train their dog in the most effective way. It includes a puppy training section, two online training courses to boost intelligence, obedience, and behavior, over 100 articles tackling a huge range of behavior problems, as well as doggy behavior and psychology, and a private forum frequented by Adrienne. If you want to buy the product just check the description and order now for just $31. Number 5, Bandog. The Bandog can either be the general name for a type of guard dog or a shortened description of the American Bandoggy Mastiff. In both cases, Bandogs are extremely large and muscular, and have short head coats. Bandogs are intelligent, loyal, protective, and at times highly aggressive, they have a fantastic watch and guard dog abilities, but they are illegal to own in many areas. 
Van dogs require moderate care, little grooming, moderate training, and a lot of exercises, and are pretty healthy overall. The Ban dog is often considered a breed type, rather than a specific purebred dog. In any case, Ban dogs are members of the working group, and have been used as fearsome guard dogs for centuries. Dogs of this type are unmatched in their guarding and protection abilities but they can be extremely dangerous if not carefully trained and controlled, severe Ban dog attacks are not uncommon. As such, it is vitally important that anyone considering Ban dog ownership, should acquire the dog only from a trusted responsible breeder. Number 6, Cane Corso. At nearly 28 inches at the shoulder and often weighing more than 100 pounds, with a large head, alert expression, and muscles rippling beneath their short, stiff coat, Corsi is at a glance intimidating creatures. Their imposing appearance is their first line of defense against intruders. As one writer put it, an understated air of cool competence, the kind of demeanor you'd expect from a professional bodyguard, is the breed's trademark. Close quote Corsi is intelligent, loyal, eager to please, versatile, and intensely loyal to their humans, but are also assertive and willful, and can end up owning an unwitting owner. As with any other big guardian dog, responsible breeding and early socialization with people and other dogs are vital. Number 7, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. At 14 to 16 inches, Staffordshire Bull Terriers do not stand particularly tall. But, weighing anywhere between 24 to 38 pounds, they pour a gallon of dog into a quart-size container. These are rock-solid, muscular terriers. The head is short and broad, with pronounced cheek muscles, and the tight-fitting coat comes in several colors. Staffordshire Bull Terriers still resemble the pugnacious brawlers who once ruled England's fighting pits. But today's responsible breeders are producing sweet-natured, family-oriented dogs with a reputation for being patient with kids. These are true blue loyal companions, but the old fighting instinct still lurks, within making it vital that pups be socialized with other dogs to learn good canine manners. Number 8. Belgian Malinois. Belgian Malinois are squarely built, proud, and alert herders standing 22 to 26 inches. Strong and well-muscled, but more elegant than bulky, there's an honest no-frills look about them, as befit dogs built to work hard for their feet. A breed hallmark is the proud carriage of the head. Coat colors range from a rich fawn to mahogany. The black ears and mask accentuate bright, questioning eyes the color of dark Belgian chocolate. If you have ever seen a male perform an obedience routine, you know firsthand what a smart and eager breed this is. Problems set in, though, when this people-oriented dog is underemployed and neglected exercise, and plenty of it, preferably side by side with their adored owner, is key to mal happiness. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.